In this tutorial, we will look at how to set up the Panopto tool inside a Blackboard course. To begin, take a look at my menu bar in Blackboard Original View. You'll see that I do not actually have the Panopto player. To do this, I'm going to navigate up to the Add Content menu, signified by the circle with the little plus. Then I'll select Tool Link. A pop-up menu will appear, and I'll name this Panopto Course Tool Application. And then underneath the type, we'll go ahead and select our Panopto Course Tool Application. Do note that there are two tools here. The one that you need is Panopto Course Tool Application. This will allow you to actually configure the course for the first time. It is not necessary to make this tool available to users currently. So we'll go ahead and select Submit to Confirm and complete setting up our tool. Now you'll see that the Panopto Course Tool Application appears in our menu bar. Now that the Panopto Course Tool Application appears in our menu bar, We'll go ahead and select to this. This is going to take us to the Panopto uh, content page where it says the course is not provisioned with Panopto. Before the course can be used with Panopto, you need to set this up. So we'll go ahead and select the configure button. And what we need essentially to do here is to select a course to configure for the first time. And this is going to be important that you do this if this is the first time you're using Panopto in your course. So we'll select Add Course. And what you'll notice here that happens is we get provisioning results. This is going to list the actual course name and the location for this. It will also tell you who the assigned instructors are and teaching assistants if need be. Basically what we're doing is we are creating the behind the scenes link for Panopto. And then when we get done with that, we have the option to return to the course or to configure additional folders. Once we do that and select the Panopto course tool application again, now we're actually inside Panopto. And what you'll see here is that I have a, a root folder here. And that root folder should be named what your course is named. And inside of that, you'll see that we have the option to create additional subfolders. But what we really want to do is keep our content inside of this uh, particular course shell so that when we share it, it will always link to the same location. The next thing that we're going to do is look at the folder settings themselves for this root folder. I'll do this by navigating on the right hand side over to the gear icon. When I select that, you'll see that the root or the host folder appears at the top. And I just want to verify that this is correct under the overview tab. You can see here that I have the course name. I do have the option to edit this. I would say don't touch this, so I'll select cancel. You'll notice that the parent folder is housed in Lewis University, so you will have no need to fix that. We'll leave the description alone. And then uh, we'll talk later in a video about setting up assignment folders. So we're not going to worry about that at this moment. Next, we'll go ahead and we will look at the share. Uh, essentially, this is a set of permissions. It also is a place where you can obtain the link um, and URL to the video if you need to embed it. So there's not too much you should need to do here. And I would recommend that you leave this alone. Under settings, you'll see that you have the ability to create uh, a podcast for this out of this video recording. You can also choose when you make these sessions available. Um, I would probably recommend leaving the defaults alone on this. Under the downloads, um, it will tell you who has the ability to download or not. Normally, I would suggest leaving this for creators and admins only. and leave that be that's the default for the itunes university category leave it set to none we're not going to worry about that and then below that we'll see that there is a set of availability in the availability most of you will just want to select immediate um, but it is possible if you wanted to wait for something to go live that you could technically do that 
And then, obviously, how long does the session uh, remain? There's not too much to worry about in the order folder. Um, basically, it would change the display of the orders of the folder. And lastly, uh, there's this manage folder. And what's important here is that you'll see that there's a folder ID number. If you were having problems, you could select the ID. In addition, you do have the ability to delete the folder, but if you do that, it will delete the data. Don't do that. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. For more information, please feel free to visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.